there's a new campaign set to bring forth stories of corona warriors survivors and transcendent humanity it is called himmat hai to jeet hai the campaign will showcase stories about the low cost covid-19 centers that have helped thousands to go back home safe kudumbashri hotels in kerala that have used the community kitchen concept to serve meals to the needy for just rupees 20 There are stories like the resilience of 86-year-old Regina Parmar who defeated COVID-19. Now this campaign is run by Population Foundation of India. Himmat hai to jeet hai is about celebrating and sharing the success stories of many different organizations and people who resonate with the theme of this campaign which is about hope and triumph. We have with us today Poonam Muthreja, Executive Director of PFI and theater veteran Feroz Abbas Khan. who is the creative advisor for this campaign welcome to the csr journal poonam ji my first question to you is uh, what does the population foundation of india primarily do and uh, what has been keeping you busy in the pandemic so population foundation of india is a 50 year old organization set up by grd tata and we focus on um women uh, women's reproductive sexual health and rights we also focus on public health in general uh, especially from a rights point of view and much of our work especially in collaboration with feroz is on health education and changing behaviors of people for better health outcomes i uh, also I uh, remember reading about contraception how the lack of contraception has led to an increase in pregnancy yeah. that was really interesting the finding uh that was one of the side effects of the lockdown and the pandemic so could you share a little bit more on yeah that? so so uh, you know it is the frontline health workers like ashas and anms who are responsible for persuading women and helping them access family planning services from the public health system which is primarily at the district hot hospital or community health centers and the frontline health workers were tasked to do take the entire burden of covid so whether it was surveillance it was door to door uh, inquiries uh, in households to see if there's anyone who had signs and symptoms distributing uh, 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 contraceptives is something they normally do and they stopped doing that because they were so busy with um, with uh, the covid arrangements and we looked at we knew from the field level uh, reports that women weren't getting any access to family planning services also the private sector totally closed down in the villages um the pr- p- public health system wasn't providing family planning services with the result that we are going to have almost 20 million pregnancies this year um a, a huge unmet need for family planning services for abortion services so a lot of women are going to get pregnant when have got pregnant because they did not have not have access to family planning services and the number is so big that it's going to be very difficult um uh, for uh, for us to make up for those numbers and second no child should be an unwanted child every child should be a wanted child put the work of pfi even in a more important uh, spotlight right because this is exactly the kind of work that pfi does yeah so we 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 uh, tried our best to convince state governments to start even distributing condoms at uh, you know where the migrants uh um first were quarantined in the villages and they were before they were sent home we tried to organize um various ways of reaching contraception through a range of ngos across the country to the people the video for this uh, campaign himmat hai to jeet hai that came out a few days ago and uh, it's it's a uh, very different from what uh, pfi has done in the past so how did uh, this happen what's the idea behind it 
तो वॉट वी फाउंड वॉज के लोगों की अब हिम्मत टूट रही है पीपल आर गेटिंग वेरी डिमोरलाइज एज आई सेड एंगजाइटी लेवल्स व हाई people don't know how long this will continue people are fed up of being locked in houses people are fed up of being um living under this fear that they will get covid will they get treatment if they there are so many issues people are losing jobs there is a you know everything possible that could have gone wrong during this epidemic has happened and people don't know when it will end so we all discussed as a team uh, we discussed this feedback and as a team we realized that is some there is you know while we continue to say wear mask social distancing etc but logo ko himmat chahiye so that is why the name himmat hai and also that is why we um, came out with a um cheerful um um positive uh, anthem and campaign uh, mr firoz khan uh, uh, yeah first of all uh, uh, you have done uh, exceptional work in theater you've uh, directed uh, all these amazing plays like tumhari amrita and salesman ramlal uh, who doesn't know i've also done a industry? film called gandhi my father Yes, of course. Yes, uh, there's always some confusion, you know, Feroz Abbas Khan and Feroz Khan, and uh, people are not sure uh, who has done what. So I, I didn't want to uh, mention the movie for the same reason. Um, okay. Ah, uh, you, you also have this kind of patriotic side to you. Um, how did you end up joining the campaign as creative advisor? Television program uh, called "Main Kuch Bhi Kar Sakti Hoon." and i think if you just google on mai kuch bhi kar sakti hu it's one of the most uh, important program that has happened on entertainment education and behavior change and we've been associated with that for about 3 seasons we've done more than 183 episodes of that and that's a huge huge program so i have been there with them on that then we did a whole year program on violence against women uh bas ab bahut ho gaya which we did with uh, with uh, with farhan akhtar's Uh, organization also marg and that was also hugely successful so i have been a part of uh, whatever pfi does in terms of uh, uh, behavior change communication and on uh, entertainment education so when this campaign came uh, we discussed a lot of things uh, and we had a wonderful partnership with stitch communication this is a agency which actually must get most of the credit because uh, they are the ones who created this program uh, they uh, were got in to uh, to discuss with us about this campaign and there were many options we had but finally we went with the option of uh, of uh, hope because in the end hope is our only hope no matter whatever we do we are committed to to take on any adversity and so that's where we decided that a time has come that from all kind of themes that we have gone through we've gone through doing all the protocols with safety and you know keep, keeping yourself safe and so on and so forth which continues to be there and should go carry on but we also need resilience we need hope because if people lose hope we start going down and it starts in the mind itself and i think in these times we needed people to cheer up to say look there has been worse thing that have happened before us this too shall pass and there are so many people who are doing it successfully and that's where we should be and i think this collective sense of hope and resilience will finally take us through this pandemic and that's the reason that i got into this project with them i think the video series is also part of the campaign uh, and uh, yes videos haven't started coming out yet could you tell us a little bit more about uh, what we can see some of the stories of these covid warriors so i'm i'm afraid you'll have to wait for our uh, <laughs> covid hero stories we cannot we 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 will we will surely send them to you first but we're not going to talk about it yet i hope that's okay with you but we have simultaneously also been making these uh, uh, this uh, these hasya kavi potli wala in fact the first hasya kavi potli wala on himmat was also released last week and maybe feroz can talk about the hasya kavi potli wala and uh, it was a, 
uh, it's a animation character of Feroz Khan's imagination. And the Hasi Putliwala films are are quite delightful. It's a very wonderful character. There was no way that we could shoot anything, so we created an animation character. He's this typical guy who it's a 30 seconder in which in a short poem he tells you some very, very interesting things, whether it's about myth busting, whether it was resilience, or it's just basically, you know, telling you to do certain things. But it's a very, very uh, it's done in a in a very light way. Uh, in a very meaningful way at the same time. And, and, and those have gone really very, very viral because those are 30 second animation films. Uh, and so as a precursor to the main film that we were doing uh, of Himmat Hai to Jeet Hai, we decided to release one film of uh, that, another a 30, 40 second film, just to give you the taste about what's going to happen. Uh, Mr. Khan, you also told us about all the causes you were attached with, especially uh, in connection with PFI, also with MARG. So um, it kind of brings art and uh, social change together. So whenever art and social change has come together, it's been uh, spectacular. The results have been very creative. Uh, so do you see art and social development uh, being a more uh, close partnership in the future as well, personally and on a larger scale in the country? I think uh, art has always aligned itself with social uh, causes and social ideas. And I think most of the good art uh, has a very important social message. So we are very aligned. It's the only time is that for a long time, as if we were operating in two different compartments, and that was wrong. Uh, the social sector felt that the art was just too, uh, you know, uh, it, did, it was not very effective and it was supposed to be only entertaining. And the uh, artistic community felt many times that we are entertainers, we don't want to get into the social ideas and it might just not help our entertainment. But the idea is that when both of them come together, as you rightly use the word spectacular, uh, it's not just spectacular, it also is far reaching and it also helps both ways because the art gets meaningful and the the the, the social causes get a very good communication vehicle to communicate what they want to do. And now, uh, on a larger scale, I think we need to do that because there is a lot of social uh, garbage that we are seeing around with the kind of a new entertainment format that we are getting. And it's been extremely, extremely depressing and distressing to see how the new kind of entertainment that is being done either on television channels or even now the news channels. Uh, and it's really uh, important that the artist and the artist community gets there and make sure that this social kura kachra garbage that's there, it does not spread too much and that we can clean it up. Now, when it comes to gender equality, uh, this is a bit of a sensitive topic, but uh, just wanted to know your views on it anyway. The Me Too movement, um, in internationally, it has made some impact, uh, not as yeah. much as would have been expected. But in India, uh, uh, it really, you know, kind of died down, uh, you know, uh, in a matter of months. And now no one is really talking uh, about it even. Well, I think that uh, that's where the fight actually continues. And that's where we need this uh, uh, to basically challenge the patriarchy. And even now, if we see that with all that is happening around us, it's again about gender inequality. And in India, it's very important that the Me Too movement must also involve the men. I think in India, the men will have to speak up also. Men will have to be very strongly involved in it because we left it only to the women. And that's why internationally, of course, it has had impact. I wouldn't say that it hasn't had an impact in India. It has, but our realities are very, very different. Okay, so I feel is that despite it's, you know, uh, it not being as powerful as we would like it to be, but the struggle is still on. And I think we need to double up our efforts towards gender equality.